My name is Walter Rush, and I was born but in a small town in Brickhaven, Mississippi. I am the middle child of five kids, and growing up, I think I was real shy because of the fact that I stuttered real bad, but I was insecure. Grown-ups and kids laughed at me all the time, which made me real shy. But I think my life changed is when I picked up a pencil and I started drawing. I love drawing. I drew every single day from, from, from like kindergarten to like the high school. So like uh, during that time, but in high school, so I was still uh, real shy, but insecure. So one day, so I came into school, but like early. So I heard the choir singing. And I wanted to do that because, but I also loved uh, music too. But I really wasn't that good at it then. So the following year, I signed up for choir. So my choir director then, Mr. Costello, like he actually taught me a whole lot, but about music, which uh, changed me. So I, so gradually I uh, stopped drawing as much. So I went to music, singing. So during this time, uh, but in high school, I got offered with a scholarship for art, but I turned it down because of the fact my elders around me told me that there was no future and no money, but in art. So, uh, so I, during this time working, no matter what kind of job I worked, I really did not like it. The only thing that came close, uh, like a starting off was becoming a sous chef. It gave me like some sense of purpose of like creating dishes and creating food. And see, at the time, I got tired of that. So I was still singing and still trying to make a career uh, from that because of money. I wanted the money and that fame then. But as I got older, I realized that something was still missing. Uh, there's a void there. So after like 15, 16 years, I started back drawing. And, but when I started back drawing, I felt something different just happened within me. Like there was a peace, there was peace. There was a purpose. Like it was something like I could create without no boundaries or no words. That was just me and that paper. And I can just, anything that came to my, my, my mind, I could create. So this actually took me back to my origins, which reference back to the workbook, Returning Back to Your Origins by Robert Greene. And something just popped in my mind, just like, go back to school, go back to college, get a degree and pursue what you wanted to pursue when you was 18 years old. Mining at this time, I'm like 39 years old. So soon as I got off work, I sat, sat up in the parking lot and I Googled colleges for art and full sale came up. A computer with an animation. So uh, soon as I seen that, I jumped on it. I called full sale up. And within three to four weeks, I was in college. So I graduated in 2000, but in 18, uh, by this time, I was a sales uh, salesperson, so at a, a store. And my goal was to finish off the fourth quarter to jump into my career. But yes. before that happened, I got hurt again. I had me a fall and this fall, right here messed up my lower back and my hip, 
this next part right here comes from so it's finding your way back the life of death uh the life said death strategy because of the fact that i needed me a plan and if i couldn't succeed i would actually die but inside because this voidness being there of not being who i was meant to be I decided to pick my phone up and just start recording. So I just started recording and posting on YouTube. So it goes back to, see another part of the book is finding your niche. So of, so me posting on YouTube, I found my niche. And so my YouTube channel name is Food for the Soul by Walter Rush. And I want to create something totally new that's had never been seen, but I can but envision this here. So through this program of my mastery through full sale, so I feel like that I can reach the next level on what to do to form this company, but it's something new and something different. And my two short-term go uh, goals, one of my short-term goals, but is to reach out to some of the top YouTube creators, but in my niche, and see if they can give me feedback on what see I can do to help grow my channel. And the second thing is to posts on a regular basis. I am finding peace because through YouTube, so I can still do my music. I can still do my art and create.